I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna talk about safety and that's why I'm dressed like this in these fitness clothes. You know, just last week, a man was arrested for attempted kidnapping. Police believe he's connected to several calls about possible kidnappings. This map shows around where it happened. This is the Bel Air area. This first started on Tuesday morning around 8 a.m. And within 20 minutes, police got calls saying that a man was chasing a woman. The man was arrested soon after. We checked this morning and he is still in jail and has court tomorrow morning. Bel Air PD said the victims were random and totally unknown to the suspect. So this is absolutely one of the most horrifying things I've ever heard. That's why we brought in black belt instructor Ulpiano Malaszewski and oh, I, I messed up your last name. I know I knew I was going to Joel Heinen from Gracie Barra West Chase Research Forest location at Jiu Jitsu Gym that teaches women about self defense. Good morning. So as I was just saying, there was a story in the news last week that's really terrifying for women that, you know, totally at random, they could be a victim of a crime like that. So I know that you guys teach self-defense. What are some of the moves that you that you teach women about how to protect themselves? Yeah, so uh, we're part of a, a Gracie Baja, and the, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu was created where uh, the smaller person can defend themselves without having to use any strength. So every movement that we teach the students is based on leverage and don't require to be a lot of uh, strength. Yeah. And so in this case in particular it works really perfect because yeah. the victim usually is smaller. Yeah. And then the way that we teach we teach some uh, joints and uh, choke holds that you can save yourself. Yeah, and I, I'm glad that you mentioned that it's just, you know, the victims tend to be smaller. It's not always necessarily women who are the victims, and, and that's why we have a student, a young, a very young person here with us today. So what would you, what would you teach students? So, um, example, um, it's, it's hard for, 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 for the person to be the aggressor, so when you uh, are the person, example, let's say she's walking and somebody tried to grab her like that and try to drag her. She has to be able to hold the arm, change the direction, goes under, and now she put on a lock hold where if she keep pushing my arm, she will break my arm. Doesn't matter how strong she is, it's a lock joint. Uh -huh. you know, so we try our best. Or it doesn't matter how strong you are. Doesn't matter how strong I am because it's, it's a lock hold. And then if she keep pushing, gonna break my shoulder, you know? So everything is based on leverage. Example, I'm gonna use Professor Joe right here. So one thing that happens a lot, it's somebody grab you like this, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna try to do something on you. So with the techniques that we teach, Joe is gonna put the arm inside, he's gonna break it, go like this, and then he's gonna bring me to the ground. So when he brings me to the ground, he's able to put a pressure and go for the arm lock like this, which is a lot of pressure on my arm and then he can run and be safe because it's going to be hard for me to run after him. And really, like, it doesn't matter if it's an, uh, you know, unfair fight. If you're the bigger person, those moves still work. They still work. Lydia, how confident are you in doing something like that? Um, pretty confident. It's, like, kind of normal. I like to train in the adults class, considering that I'm a smaller person. Mm -hmm. And it, like, prepares me more for, like, if I'm in the street. I go to city center a lot. If someone comes up behind me, it's scary. Yeah. Um, I'm like ready, I think, to be able to defend myself. And if I wasn't, I'd definitely let my parents know so they can take me to these classes. Yeah. So it's easier for me, it's easier on my heart, it's easier on their heart, it's easier for everybody. How long have you been doing something like this? Um, I did it ever since I was like three. I started when I was three, and that's like when we basically like consider you should start. But um, I quit for a little bit, and then I came back to sport because I've always, ever since I was a kid, I would try another sport and then I'd come back to this sport because yeah. it's it's like my roots. Yeah, I get that. What, is, what's the youngest age that they can do? I mean, that seems pretty young. Yeah, we started three stuff. years old really? and we truly believe that make the kids confident at a young age, mm -hmm. um, make them ready for the real world, you mm -hmm. know? Uh, those days, it's tennis, the kids should don't be confident out this video games, out the things yeah. that people play around. So we, we focus on uh, not just the discipline, but actually in work on a kid's confidence. Yeah. You well, know. a lot of sports, you know, work on confidence and strength, but I think mm -hmm. what's different about when you're learning self-defense is you deal with the, what the unexpected could be, right? Yeah, the, the training uh, prepares you to be able to act 
when you're under the pressure. Okay, so I'm a, I, I'm a newbie to self-defense. I, I actually was a boxer for about 15 years. Uh, so we have a lot of plans in boxing about, you know, technique and everything, mm -hmm. but I don't have any uh, expectation for if somebody were to randomly come up to me on the street. You know, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's, a, that's a new new area for me. So if you if I, you were to teach me a move, what would it be? I'm going to teach you a move right here today. Okay. So I'm going to use the Professor Joe as the aggressor. Okay? okay. Let's say Professor Joe wants to grab you by the shoulder and drag you around. So you're going to, first thing you're going to do, you're going to use your hand to make sure you press his hand on your shoulder. Now you're going to use the other hand. I'm which seems like, yeah, which seems you're contra... Use, you go like L shape with your finger and you're going to lift his elbow and step your right leg forward. Because you're going to go under, keep holding the arm, and bring the arm to the back. you got to oh. keep holding Ooh, the I arm, like this, oh. and like this. Now what you're going to do is going to bend his wrist and go like this, That's because it's him. a wrist lock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so well, that would be painful. Here, gonna, let's try it again. We're going to do one more time. Yeah. This, you want to make sure you support the hand. The other one is going to lift. You're going to step with the leg, and you go under, keep holding, and bring the arm to the back. Yeah. Now this one holds right here, and this one bends the, the wrist, and then it's yeah. very painful, okay? Yeah, that would take some practice. I feel like um, w if somebody grabs you, it would be like, um, it would feel opposite of what you'd think to hold their hand to you. You'd sure. want to be pushing away. Yeah, you one know? thing that is very common in women is I'm going to do a me so I don't mess your hair. <laughs> yeah. So somebody pull your hair, <laughs> okay? Usually people take this to run, but when you run, yeah. you kind of pull your hair even yeah. more. So first thing you do, you use both hands to make sure it doesn't hurt your head, mm -hmm. but that way it doesn't pull it's your like head. stage fighting. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna face to that side, I step close to my partner, and I go like this, why? Because now I have him on an arm lock. More pressure than I put right here, I'm gonna break his arm. Mm -hmm. You know, so the whole system created by the Gracie family in Brazil was developed where you don't have to throw a punch and you learn how to throw a punch and throw a kick out from the bottom, go back to stand up, because 80% of every combat sport, fights or aggression, end up on the floor. Here's, here's my other question, because I mentioned that I've done boxing before, so when I tell people that, then they're like, oh, well, then you know, like, you know how to fight, you know what to do. But I'm not going to bring my fist to a gunfight, right? Like, if somebody has a weapon, what would you tell somebody to do? So, uh, first of all, and it's never a good idea to engage a fight when somebody has a weapon. No, okay? I'd, ra I'd rather get out of there as soon as yeah, possible. Yeah, but, it's, but <laughs> if it's, it's a last resource, we have a lot of things that we teach where you can de de the, 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 the the energy and try to escape and go for the body locks and then... And clinch holds because everything that we do what we want to do is measure the distance punch and kick the way you say in boxing I can punch right here I need the distance what we teach is example the person throw a punch right here you're going to make the distance shorter and you're going to get close to me like this now the punch is not effective if I have a weapon or anything right here it's going to be hard to, to do because you can walk to my back and it's really hard to me to do anything right here mm -hmm. you know so everything that we do is to man manage the distance but when somebody has a weapon my advice is don't engage. But if the last resource, we teach a lot of basic movements that are going to be able to help you to try to be safe. Again, it's going to go a little bit against your instincts, but you want to get as close as possible instead yeah. of So everybody thinks retreating. the distance is good, but mm -hmm. actually the distance is not good. What we do is to make the distance short and be able to hold the person because that's what our system is based on take the fight to the ground. Yeah. All right, Sam, do we have time for one more move? All right, Lydia, we have time for one more move. What's your favorite, Lydia? So we're gonna go right here. And let's say she walk and somebody come from behind and try yeah. to hold her like this. Yeah. Okay, so what she's gonna do, she's gonna put the arms down to make sure she release the pressure. Now she's gonna hook her leg on my leg and then she's gonna walk till now her face is towards to my back. Now what she does, she's gonna swing this leg and I come to the ground. Now she's gonna put the knee on my stomach, hold the arm, put the leg over and go for the arm lock. Yeah, Lydia. <laughs> Good job. Get it. All right. Good job, guys. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to demonstrate before we let you go? Um, uh, I think uh, the best thing is uh, I suggest everybody to try a self-defense class yeah. on this crazy world that we live right now. Most people want to be prepared. So we have several locations in Houston. We have one in Rich, uh, Research Forest that Professor Joe teach. We have one in River Oaks. We have one in West Chase. We have one in Richmond. So if you guys ever want to learn how to protect yourself, we're more than happy to help you guys. Very good. And remind me of the name of the gym. Uh, Gracie Baja Research Forest and Gracie Baja West Chase River Oaks and Richmond as well. So that's kind of our 
our team. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining My us. Pleasure. Anything thank you'd you like to so say much. before we let you go? Uh, stay safe out there. Uh, try to avoid the fights and be ready. Make sure you guys train and stay healthy. That way you can protect yourself, you know. I love it. Thank you so much <laughs> for joining so much. us.